Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, so I'm just gonna get straight into this one because I just need to get this done. I have decided to chop my hair a little bit. We had the dilemma with the hair before and all the mat and um, I had to shave the underneath of my head. Oh, the battery's gonna die. Guys, I don't know what happened. I, I was watching videos and I was getting excited and I just started cutting and my camera was charging because my battery was dying and, and I'm so sorry that I didn't film it. Ugh. I I I don't even I can't even I'm I mean I do not know what your opinions are, but I like it. I just, I, well, right, let me go back to like three seconds ago when you guys, um, for you it was three seconds ago, for me it was like 20 minutes ago, whatever. But um, it wasn't gonna work doing it the way that I was trying to do it. This is, it wasn't gonna be able to get like these layers. So what I did was, I, want, I need to tell you what I did because I didn't film it and I'm so sorry and I feel terrible. I parted it like this um, and I just took the back bit and just put it out of the way because I, I was like I need to keep the length so I kept the back bit out of the way and parted it like this down both sides then I took another part in like this obviously better than this but then I just parted like this to take like a middle section here and I didn't touch these sections at this point because I was like okay I still want to keep some length down here and if I just take all of the hair and start chopping it's not gonna work then <laughs> this is insane I took my hair and I twisted it like that and then I took it to about here and chopped and that is I chopped that off of my hair. So this part of hair was like this, and I chopped it off. Yeah. Then I decided that I wanted to try and still be able to keep some length going on, but I needed to like, I wanted the fringe. I'm still not sure if the fringe needs a bit more doing with it, but for now, I'm happy with it. It's still, it is probably slightly longer, but, when I wash my hair, I'm going to like leave it to go curly and the fringe will then be curly and then it will be short. So I'd rather wait and see what that looks like first. So then what I did was I just took a much smaller section from about here. Kind of like this. So I kind of like just took a section here to cut a fringe and I just did that in the normal way that you would cut a fringe by pulling some down, cutting it into a fringe, and then just kept joining it on. And that's left me with kind of like, well, this, this, well, this, basically. That's, that's all I've done. I've snipped a little bits off here and there as well. Um, But I wasn't, I don't think I was expecting to like it as much as I do. And what I'm really, really liking is the colour. So I feel like before, the colour just looked really crud. Like, it looked rubbish. And because I've, I have got dark roots, but I feel like because of the style, you don't notice the roots as much. And now it's like the fringe, the, all of the fringe is dark purple. And then the top layers are like the dark purple and then it starts to like blend into more of a rose gold, which I, so I was going to do the pink again, but now I'm going to leave it because I quite like it. So yeah, these bits look a little bit uneven, like a bit choppier than I want, but I think it's because this side has kept the wave more and as I've been brushing and stuff, this side hasn't. So once I wash it, I'll be able to see a little bit more of whether I need to do some more changes with it. 
but one thing that, I, that I'm really pleased about is I can still tie it all up. So I can still tie it up, which I need to be able to do. But now I've even got these like little wispy bits, which I didn't have before. So when I'd tie my hair up before, I'd have to have it all up. Otherwise, I'd just have like a wi long wisp here and it looked a bit weird. But now, oh, I'm just like, did I do this? I mean, I'm a, I am a qualified hairdresser. This is not relevant to that in any way because I've not done what a qualified hairdresser would do. Um, and anyone can do what I've done just now, really. Well, actually, I don't know. I mean, if I didn't want the fringe, I could clip. I could clip the fringe back. I like it! Yes! <gasps> okay, so... What I'm going to do, I'm going to go wash my hair and all that. I'm probably going to like do my makeup and stuff. I'm going to come back and we're going to just see like how we feel this is all ended. Ta-da! So this is the finished result. Oh, I haven't styled this at all. I've put like a bit of product in it and just like let it scrunch dry. And this is the, this is the result with it scrunched dry. There's so many different ways I can wear it. So, and like, if also, which I'm quite excited about is, if I wanted to have it, so it was like I have short hair, I can just tie the rest of my hair up, and it's like, I have short hair. Uh, anyway, um, I'm really pleased with it. Obviously, this is it's going to look different tomorrow, because as soon as I brush it, it goes more frizzy, like it was earlier on. But this is just like, just been washed, air dried, curly whirly, and all that jazz. So... Let me know what you guys think down below. I am very pleased with it. And I don't think it's that far. Let's just get that picture up. Let's get the picture up. Ooh. I don't think it's, like, massively... Does me. Um, obviously, depending on how I style it. But it, it, this is kind of the idea that I wanted and I just wanted to be able to keep the length which meant I had to kind of do things a little bit differently because the underneath of my hair has been shaved but anyway that's fine it's all good um, I'm gonna leave this video here please do leave me comments down below if you hate it it's fine because I love it but leave me comments down below let me know what you think and I hope you guys have a lovely evening and I'll see you in the next one